Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session we have started the tree concept and in that we have seen the tree terminology and then we have seen uh, the types of binary trees. So in today's session we will go with the another concept that is called the tree representation. So how to represent the binary tree while implementation. right? So before going to the implementation part, uh, let us uh, recall the definition of a binary tree. So binary tree means a tree which is having every node with a at most two children. That means every node of a tree should contain at most two children. That means either 0, 1 or 2. That means a maximum of two children. So if that constraint is satisfied, that implies that tree is a binary tree. Now we will go with the representation part. So binary tree representation so we can represent this tree while implementation in two ways so one is using in a linear sorry using in a linear or sequential way second one using list concept using a list concept this is by using array concept right so both are a linear or a sequential way but by first one is by using the arrays the second one by using the list right now we'll go one by one so first using arrays so first using arrays how an tree can be represented using arrays a single dimensional array so we know that so we have to follow the three steps while representing any tree into the array so first one the first step consider the root node at index 0 consider the root node is at index 0 that means in every one dimensional array the first element that means a 0th index element will be the root element next next one sorry right left chain the left chain the left chain is placed at 2i plus 1 2i plus 1 where i is position of parent pay I is a position of parent. So we know that a tree can consist of a parent and a parent will be having children. The left child and right child. So the left child is placed at 2i plus 1 where i is the position of a parent. So if it is a root node, if it is a root node, the root node position is 0. So the left child of the root will be 2 into 0 plus 1. That is 1. And the right child, see. And the right child. is placed at 2i plus 2 and also where i is position of a parent right so we need to follow these three rules while representing any binary tree in a single dimensional m so the root will be considered as a zero and then Every left child, every left child will be placed at 2i plus 1 and every right child is placed at 2i plus 2 where i will be the position of a parent. So automatically the left child means this left child will be having a parent. Right child means right child is having a parent. So based upon the position of the parent, we have to calculate the position of a right child and 
left side. So the position of the left side will be 2y plus 1. Position of the right side will be the 2y plus 2. Right? See. Let us take a simple example. A, B and C. So how this can be stored in a one dimensional array. And one dimensional array. C. Let it be. These are the one dimensional array. This is the index. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Right? So A, A is a root node. Consider the first step. Consider the root node at the index 0. So simply place this at 0th index. So A is placed at 0th index. Next, come to this B. B is not a root node. So every tree will be having only one root node. Right? So the starting node will be the root node. So B is not a root node. So B is a left child of A. So A is a parent of B. So, what is the position of A? 0. So, position of A is 0. Now, we have to find the position of B based upon the position of root or its parent. So, position of B. Position of B will be 2i plus 1 because it is a left chain. So, where here i is the position of A. So, 0. So, it means 1. So, position of B is 1. So, at the index 1, place a B. Similarly, position of C. Position of C will be 2i plus 2 because it is a right chain. Because it is a right chain. Where i is a parent. What is the parent position of C? Parent is A. So, what is the position of parent? 0. So, 2i plus 2. It will be 2. So, second index, the C will be placed here. So, in such a way, we have to find the position of left child and the right child based upon its parent position. So, the first and the root node index will be starting with a 0 and from that we can calculate the positions. We can find the positions of the children. Right? Let us take an example and I will give you that. We will follow the same rules. So let us take an example and we will follow the same rules. See, let us consider here A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, see here A, B, C, B is having two children D and E, D is having only one children that is a left chain. E is also having only one children that is left to left chain. So let us represent this one. Let us represent this one with a single dimension array. See that write down the index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Okay. Let it be 18. Right. Now see. So A is a root node. Place the A at the index. A. So this is the position 0. Now B is the left child of A. So it will be. 2i plus 1 is equal to 1. The position of b is 1. This is a right chain. 2i plus 2 is equal to 2. C. Next, d. d is a left chain of b. What is the b position? 1. So here, apply 2i plus 1 is equal to 2 plus 1. It is a 3. Okay. 2i plus 1. Here, the position of B is 1. So, 2 into 1 plus 1. So, 3. So, in the third position, we can write it D. Here, 2i plus 2. So, I is a 1. Right? So, here I is equal to 1. Here I is equal to 1. Here I is equal to 0. Here also I is equal to 0. So, I is a position of a parent. Right? So, I is equal to 1. So, 4. At the 4, we can write E. Here again, so i is equal to parent of f, d, so i is equal to 3, right, 
i is equal to 3 so 2i plus 1 is equal to 2 3 is a 6 and 7 so position of f is 7 so here it will be placed and j g i is equal to 4 here so 2i plus 1 is equal to because it is also a left to chain so 2 4 is a 8 9 so ninth position so g okay so this is the error representation of the given tree. So hope you understood this one. So these will be in empty. empty. These are all will be the empty, right? So both are having only the left chains. So we have to apply the formula 2i plus 1. If it is having the right chain, we have to apply the formula 2i plus 2. Where i will be the position of parent of f, that is d. d position is 3, right? So from the root node, we have to calculate this and we have to fill the array. So this is how we can represent a binary tree into this array representation. So hope you understood this concept, right? So we have to follow the three rules. Root will be zero, root will be at the index zero, and the right chain, sorry, left chain will be at 2i plus 1, right chain will be with at 2i plus 2. So simply following those formula, we have to uh, represent the tree in array format. Now we will go with the second representation, second type of representation. So that is a list representation. List. So here we will use A double linked list, a double linked list, right? For representing each node. For representing each node, right? So double linked list means we know that it is having three fields, right? Three fields. This is a node. Or this is uh, we can say this as a data or information this is the address of previous here the address of next right so this is how we can represent a node using the double linked list so here we, we need to represent the binary tree if you want to represent this binary tree, see, we can consider a node with the three fields, see, with the three fields, so this is a data and this holds, this holds the address of left chain and this holds the address of right chain right so every node of a tree can be represented by using this one so a data it is a address of left chain address of a right chain so this is how we can represent a tree right so let us take an example hope you understood this one so let us take an example so consider an example this one a c Okay, so this is a binary tree because every node is having at most two children. Now, representing using list, so consider the root, consider the root A, right? So, this holds the address of another chain, okay? So, that is B, and this holds the address of another chain. that is C and this holds the address of another chain D this holds the address of another chain E and this holds the address of
under child f and this holds the address of under child g right so this is how we can represent the tree so this is the address of b here address of c here address of d here address of e here address of f here the address of g so a of b means address of node b okay right address of node b is represented as a of b similarly a of c a of d a of e a of f a of g whereas these are the leaf nodes observe so d is a leaf node e is a leaf node f and g are leaf nodes so this will be placed with null so there will be no address further address right so all all these are the null so this represents a null okay so hope you understood so this is a, another way of representing a binary tree using list so one is using arrays other one is using list in the arrays we have to use a formula 2a plus 1 and 2a plus 2 so here we can use a double linked list for representing each node of a tree of a binary tree right binary tree because binary tree means every node will be having at most two children so one is the left child another one is the right child right so hope you understood this one let us stop here and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, representation concept feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much